this is about creating your first e-portfolio site or just basically trying to create a site so that you can promote your knowledge skills and abilities the first thing I'm going to do is click start again I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome because that is one of the easiest types of sites to create without interference I don't like to use Microsoft Internet Explorer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this box and I'll type in Google Sites once this comes up I'm going to click on the first one for Google Sites and if I'm not logged in then what I'm going to do is select and click in the area that's requesting my email address and in this particular case I'm going to use this as my login and then of course you're going to have to enter your password once that's done you'll notice that I already have one area that shows the site that I have created I want to create a second website so I'm going to click the create button and for this one because my goal is to create a portfolio it's asking for a couple of things at the top going to the bottom it says to choose a template I'm going to go with the blank template because I want to control the look and feel of my own site where it says name your site I want to make sure that this has my name in it and in this particular case I want to say uh, online actually let's say ePortfolio for Letitia Alford and what happens is it comes down here and it gives you the URL that people will get so they can access your site if you move further down the page you can click select theme and you can choose whichever theme you believe will look good for your particular location for mine I'm going to scroll down until I see where it says solitude and olive so I'll select that don't panic because you will have the opportunity to go back later on and change your theme under more options I'll select that as well and I'm going to give a description for my site so I'm going to say something like provides evidence of Letitia Alford's knowledge skills and capabilities in this particular area if this was a mature site which it's not because obviously it's about professionalism then I would check this area and underneath the point where it says type the code shown I'm going to click underneath it and you have to type the code in exactly as they have it here so if they use little letters you should do the same and go back to the top and click create so that it can see if it has that URL address available okay so I've had success in setting that up at this point that part is done and my site is up and ready to go